Well, hello, everybody, and welcome once again to the MCAT Club. This is our weekly call for Monday, February the 10th, 2014. My name is Don Osborne, and I am the host of the MCAT Club. In case you haven't heard before, MCAT Club is the place to go for up-to-date information about studying for the MCAT, MCAT prep, and we even answer your MCAT-related questions live here on the call. You can find the MCAT Club at inquartet.com, as well as on Facebook and on YouTube and on Twitter and on Google+. And who knows, I'm, you might even find me in Instagram somewhere. As a medical school admissions expert and consultant and coach, I work with amazing students who really want to get into medical school, but you may be stuck or feel uncertain about parts of your application process, and you really want to understand how to market and package yourself to medical schools for medical school admissions. I promise I'm the most uplifting, encouraging advisor you'll ever meet because I work on you to make you a stronger and more competitive applicant. Today, I am very happy and I really feel quite lucky to have as my guest, Leonardo from the Cambridge Learning Center. Welcome, Leonardo. Thank you, Don. I'm, I'm happy to be here with you. And you've been teaching MCAT Verbal for, I think, many years. Am I correct? Yes, that's correct. Uh, originally, uh, the Cambridge Learning Center started as a, as a uh, field education project at Harvard when I was, when I was uh, teaching there. And we were very, very interested in the neuroscience of cognition and how language and verbal acquisition works. So we started out at Harvard, then we spun off at a, as an independent uh, foundation, although we keep close relationships with the university. And, and our specialty is language acquisition and verbal skills. That's all that we do. That's awesome. And when I learned that you were approaching the test from this different perspective, I really knew I wanted to get you on the call. So you know, let me ask you to start with, can you give us a little bit of context about how you approach with your students, how you approach the MCAT verbal. Yeah, I, I think one of the best ways to do it is to really contrast what we do with what other organizations do. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, the first thing is, you know, some people talk about exam taking techniques mm -hmm. and things of that nature. Yes. Well, in the verb area, there simply are no exam taking techniques. It's all about fundamentals. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you're studying organic chemistry or physical sciences or biological sciences, I mean, you can't rely on exam-taking techniques. You've got to know the underlying material. The same thing is true with verbal. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you want to really excel in verbal, you have to know the fundamentals of language, how language works, mm -hmm. and you have to know how essays are constructed. Uh, the fundamentals of language come from an intense study of grammar, knowing how individual words work, what they do, and then how they relate to each other in sentences, mm -hmm. and then knowing how, ed how essays work. Essays have a gross morphology, just like vertebrates do. Mm -hmm. They not only have a gross morphology, but they also have indications of what the key ideas are and what aren't. And that's where you get into the study of rhetoric. So the study of grammar and the study of rhetoric teaches you how language works, how essays are constructed and how to decode them. Mm -hmm. And then once students master those two things, they know how to pick out the key ideas, they know how to restate them with clarity and in a very, very short way. Mm -hmm. And then we teach them what's known as reflective intelligence, how to really think about what the relationship of ideas are. Because, you know, the whole is always greater than some part. So we take and it's got a lot to do with cognitive psychology and linguistics. Mm -hmm. And the other thing that we do that's really unique is, you know, we've done a, a lot of work in the research of in, in the neuroscience of language and acquisition and verbal skills. We've devised a whole series of exercises for our students that, and there's a lot of research on this, we really can raise brain functionality by about 30% in the verbal area. So when you combine a real understanding of language and essays with an increase in brain functionality, mm -hmm. you can see why our students normally get 10s, 11s, 12s, mm -hmm. even some 13s. Mm -hmm. So that's, it's a very, very different approach. Okay, awesome. So uh, I love what you're saying because, of course, it parallels very much 
uh, my beliefs uh, and uh, the approach that I personally have taken in the past, helping students with MCAT Verbal. And I would love for you to say a little bit more about the relationship between, let's say, the morphology of uh, an essay structure and pattern recognition. 